Hello! In this video, you'll see four different rooms you can get at CUHK, Chinese University of Hong Kong, and a few ideas on ways you can scare or prank people, like I did to my orientation roommates. Today, we're going to be going through a tour of my dorm room here at CUHK, and this is my orientation dorm. These are my roommates. Um, Tiesha from North Carolina. My name is Emma and I'm from London. And this is our room. Like I said, it's our orientation room. So we have to move out again in a week, like un after this weekend. Yeah, this is like all our stuff. There's like not really walking space. But we, uh, that's only because we have luggage everywhere. <laughs> There's three beds. Do you want to show them how hard it is? <laughs> the pillow. But we only have to deal with it for another like two, three days because our orientation is going to be over and then we have to provide our own bedding. bedding. But not the mattress, so we're probably going to deal with that for a while. A lot of people buy mattress pads because you need them. Emma's desk. Okay, all the desks look the same. Oh, we also get this set of shelves. I'll probably... <laughs> And this is the closet. It comes with a full-length mirror, so you don't have to get one. And then, oh, more drawers. A rod. We have our towels there. But we don't have our own restroom, so we do need, like, little shower caddies because it's communal. We just talked about what shower is good and bad, and I suggest you do the same. Switches for, like, AC, and this is light. We have two lights and then two ACs, but this week we don't have to pay for it, but eventually you're gonna have to pay for it by each hour. And they provided a fan for our orientation week. We live right across the common room, which is also known as a pantry or kitchen because it has a fridge, a microwave, stoles, a sink. Okay, so maybe you just need to filter tap water, but on campus we do have fountains. And this is the balcony. You can only see like the skyline, the lights mostly, but I'll insert a photo, a video of it in the morning because it's so beautiful. But this is pretty too. There's so many lights. When I go to the shower or restroom, I just bring the same caddy for my morning and night routine as well as the shower and it contains my cleanser and my toothbrush, the only two things, and my retainer, the only two things that really need water during my routine. And then I come back here and use my mirror and put on like cream because it doesn't need a sink and I don't want to hog it. It also has shampoo, conditioner, and body wash and my loofah and towel. And do not forget your towel because I did that the first day. Also my face towel so that my face dries. I would also suggest you bring a bag like I have in my past videos so that you can keep your new clothes and your dirty clothes, maybe two separate bags for each because there's not really a place for you to put new clothes. So it could get wet or I guess you could hang it. Tiaja just mentioned that there's not anything to dry your hands with after you wash them. These are showers and these are toilets. And I'll show you what a shower looks like. So it's just a basic communal shower. And then there's this little shelf for your caddy and then a little shelf in there for products. Those are the hooks that are just like the ones in our room. And you can hang your towel there. I wouldn't suggest hanging your caddy because it's so far from the shower and you can hang your new and dirty clothes or your bags that you'll be carrying. The toilets are pretty standard. Right now for my orientation dorm, we are in Chung Chai College Pentecostal Mission Hall Complex, Complex, Low Block. So if you get that, this is what it would look like. This morning, I had a huge burst of energy out of nowhere. Oh, that's my, one of my roommates. And I thought of so many ways that you could prank people in that CUHK dorm that I just showed you. And here are my ideas. So I was sitting on my bed and my other roommate was like sitting here and then she was talking and then I looked like here and I was like, oh my gosh, I could fit in there and scare my roommate or any roommate when they come in because they wouldn't know I'll be in there. And then, I did that when she came in. I'm gonna try 
try to see from her perspective. Now I'm about to unlock it. And then I went through the door. And then I was just like, oh, there's nobody here. Yay! <laughs> me party and then i dropped my bag down and then i started singing and then she busted out and i was traumatized i could put it on my insta story and have people vote but uh do you follow me on insta link in the description my neighbor is letting me show y'all her room and it's basically the same place but two beds, and you might be lucky and only have one other roommate. We're still in Chiang Tai College in Pentecostal Low Block. This is her. She's so sweet. <laughs> Welcome to her crib. Those are just two yeah, beds. My crib for like four days. Yeah, and then we have to move again. It's kind of inconvenient, but it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> she has similar shelves. They look like they have different spacing. Oh, but both of them have different spacing. I guess you can change it. Because, yeah, I don't know, you know, blinds. And then the desk looks the exact same. It's labeled. Is the mattress hard too? Can I touch yeah, it? Yeah, it's the same. Okay, yeah, yeah. Same and mattress, same closet. same closet. Also, she has a window there. You also have like a little bulletin board, so that's yeah, kind of cool. Put, like, here. And stuff on there. This is International House 3. It's colorful and it's located pretty close to center campus. This is International House 4. It's right next to International House 3, which is right there, and very close to center campus, which is just down this road. International House is also known as I House on the application or socially. It reminds me of the dorms I stayed at in Ashase Perry during my first exchange. If you want to know more advice or tips on doing a study abroad exchange program in Europe, you can check out this. You guys aren't going to have a third roommate? I think so. Oh, okay. Yeah. Wait, has There's one bed, yeah. another bed. No, he just doesn't exist. He just doesn't exist. <laughs> oh, so it's kind of like you have... Well, your desks are next to each other. Your desks are nicer than the desks that we have in Yeah. Show. Yeah. This is the third like bed. I kind of like the room, but it peels like. Okay, shop peels too. Though. You guys you have guys nicer see, chairs. Yeah, though. my my hall. Yeah, same it's like the shop. same structure, but it's like. It looks older. Years older. Yeah, yeah, it's same like forty. Shop. No, I'm not forty years older. But like, the chairs like the are nicer. Are nicer too. Yeah, like the mattresses are also thin. Are they I soft see. though? Oh, they're kind of softer. They're softer. Oh, they are softer. Yo, Shaw is like This bed is softer. <laughs> it's about, it's kind of like mine, but mine is more worn out. Here's the closet. Yeah, I sometimes use like, oh my god. Invading his closet. This is the international house activity room. We're playing Smash. <laughs> this TH, I just killed her. This was our scare on Emma. The footage isn't that good, but you get the idea on how to do it. Wait till the end because our last one is king. Oh, so cold. Oh! <laughs> oh, that was really loud. <laughs> I totally forgot about that because I didn't know when she was coming back. She takes forever. I moved into my permanent hostel, which is at Shaw College Hall Student Hostel 2, but it's also known as Yatsen Hall. I have my bed and the mattress isn't as hard as the one in the last dorm. <laughs> but it's, it's pretty soft, like maybe a little too soft. There's still space under for anything. I'll probably keep all these suitcases under there. It's basically like a normal dorm in America, I feel like. The drawers are very similar. You get a key for the locks. The shelves are pretty similar. I'll show y'all how I unpack and place all my stuff. The closet comes with a mirror on this side, but it's bigger than the last one. You get the two doors next to each other instead of just one. So it's a pretty good size. Can this open? Oh, it opens this way. So one door opens before the next. 
There are hooks, there's a rod, no hanger, but that's fine. I'm just gonna fold everything. I haven't paid for my AC. I don't know if I want to pay for AC, but honestly, I probably will because it kind of feels terrible in here. But you get a fan at least. It's just like moving air though, and it's not necessarily cold air. It's just the air that's already in here, and the air is not cold. I am not gonna get a covered sheet, a fitted sheet for my bed because I feel like it's unnecessary. The only thing is that I'm scared I'm going to stain it like when I have my period because I don't know when it comes anymore. I don't want to buy anything because I'm going to use it for four months and then I'm going to have to throw it away. I wish CUHK would just recycle the things that the last exchange students have been provided and bought. It doesn't seem like they do and it's very wasteful for the environment. A lot of things just end up in their landfills. I'm really glad I brought things because at least we've been using this at home sorry my hair looks like a nest but it was in a low bun that was kind of looking sophisticated but then i got here and i just was too hot here is a quick room tour after i settled down in my shawl hostel 2 room this is the closet it's very messy right now because i'm like about to go I have my shower caddy here which i already explained all my pads are over there at the beginning we had a provide our own toilet paper but then they gave us some so that's why I have those this has like some laundry things my underwear and socks are in my travel cubbies there um, all my traveling things and extra bags are there this is my closet a way to save money is to not buy any hangers it's also just wasteful but there was they recycled them here at Shaw but not the other dorm so I folded all my clothes and organized it that way. So I brought the pillow and blanket myself because that's all I need is my pajamas. And then I put the rest of my clothes that I don't need as much up there on that shelf. I definitely utilize my shelving space. My desk, all my cosmetics are up here, food's over there, and then my laundry is on the last drawer. My desk is messy, but you know, that's what happens when you use it. And all my suitcases are under. Here is the kitchen. We have start with the water fountain. And then we have two fridges, and we have a sink that comes with soap and a sponge, and then the microwave I use a lot. You can cook on these little stove pots. I think this is hot water. I haven't used it. And then you have a little toaster oven. These are the restrooms in Shaw Hostel 2. You have to bring the toilet paper with you. This is a shower. The hooks are there. And then the curtain, pretty standard. There's one hook on this door. And then I mostly use this and then sometimes that, but not really because it gets wet. So I just keep all my bags and towel hem. Okay, so for some reason, I still have a lot of energy, and my- What? The lies. You don't have a lot of energy? No, I, I, I do. Did oh. I say I don't? I thought you said you don't. Well, I do. We found another spot to hide, and it's right here. There, under the bed, but kind of like behind that, so that when she walks in, she can't see it. And also, she had that backpack, so yeah. And then, we're gonna show you what happened. Is it obvious? <laughs> what is that? You'll teach it. Oh. Preparing my grab. <laughs> that was fun to make and do. Comment down below what was your favorite prank. Living like this is my biggest cost saver while studying abroad again. If you want a video on how much I'm spending on this experience, maybe compared to my time in Europe, like this video and comment below if you have a certain question. I'll be posting a lot more about my time in Hong Kong and traveling Asia besides the ones that are already up. So make sure you subscribe and join the fancy fam because you're going to learn about all the free things to do, the best things to do, and my favorite places to go, and just everything about Hong Kong and studying abroad here. So make sure you click the bell and become a feminist.